what is going on guys so today i want to talk about a fragrance it's actually a, it's a pretty important part of my early stages of my fragrance journey i want to say when i was uh maybe about 19 uh, 18 or 19 years old um and i was working and uh these i had my first i think my first two jobs i was working at like st louis bread company uh in the mall in my local area and i was working at a buffet hometown buffet and i had a little bit of money in my pocket and i was starting to get into buying fragrances one of the fragrances that i ended up picking up i ended up getting from uh this shopping plaza that was close to my job and there was a burlington burlington coat factory that was there and i went inside and they used to have like a huge a decent selection of fragrances at that time uh, i know it's much smaller now i have to go back and check again um but this fragrance was there charuti image and this is a 3.4 ounce bottle vision creativity inspired like it's future optimism creativity you know different uh different little words of affirmations and things like that and this one was a favorite of mine it was super simple in the way that it was uh presented so far the notes and the layout the bottle was very you know nice looking you open this up here i ended up purchasing this one a while back and i just haven't gotten around to unboxing it and you know showcasing it but to me the bottle is very beautiful Nice presentation on the box, nothing too crazy. Um, but here is your bottle. To Rudy image, and it has sort of that same design at the bottom, a frosted bottom of the bottle with the little affirmations, vision, creativity, inspiration, optimism, things like that. Uh, the raised lettering to Rudy image right at the top. Nice size bottle. Uh, Got a sort of a different atomizer. This one has like a lever that you sort of pull and uh, gives you a nice spray. The lever kind of folds back that way. You can see where it's actually pressing down and clamping down on that atomizer to give you a spray. Uh, the scent is a really nice and enjoyable scent, but it's super simple. Very simple, very just clean, fresh out of the shower, out of the shower type of a scent. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on. It's just, it's just simple. And it was like at that time when I bought this, I truly enjoyed this. So we're gonna try a little bit on skin here. As you can see, the atomizer, nice distance, sort of a narrow but like a medium narrow distribution. And then we'll pull up the notes. The notes for this fragrance is pear, banana leaf, plum, pepper, cypress, jasmine, fig leaf. Wyack wood, Tahitian vetiver, cedar, musk, sandalwood, as well as patchouli. You're getting the sweetness from that pear. You're getting, you're getting the sweetness from that pear and that plum. There's almost like a tobacco vibe here, which probably is coming from maybe the banana leaf and the fig leaf, as well as that guayac wood and the vetiver. It almost comes off like a really clean and neat tobacco leaf. You get a little bit of a peppery vibe, not a whole lot. Uh, you get some musk in there, really light, some really light woods. The amber is there and it adds just a little bit of depth and warmth. This fragrance is just super, it's super simple. Very simple, clean, fresh. It's not doing too much, it's not trying to be something. That is not, it's, it's just a simple, straightforward, fresh out of sour type of a fragrance. The price point on this is very, very cheap. The, I picked this up, this was maybe $18. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle. Um, the amount of hours you're going to get out of this isn't great. Um, it's a decent smell, nice amount of projection on it. But you're not going to get a, the, the best performance out of this. And I wasn't expecting to. 
with $18 for this size bottle with the type of scent that it is. I, this is what it is. I would I put this on fresh out of the shower, going to bed, running some errands. This is for the summer. This is for the spring, not winter, not fall. Uh, unless you just want to wear around the house. Has a nice fresh sweetness to it. Has some musk, a little bit of a, a, a wood presence, but it's nothing woody or really about the fragrance. Uh, everything comes together very smooth. It's sort of even. You know, even in balance, nothing's really standing out too much. You're gonna get a nice, slightly peppery, slightly woody, fresh, um, somewhat of a tobacco, like a really light tobacco floral vibe from it, but just super light. And this comes from those peppers, that guayac wood, the vetiver, and some of the florals that is in here as well. This was a fragrance that I carried around with me quite often when I was a. Uh, this was a fragrance that I carried around with me quite often when I was catching the bus, to, uh, going back and forth to work, and I used to just keep this on me and it would just refresh it every once in a while throughout the day to keep a nice fresh scent. I was also working at uh, Bush Stadium at that time, so I actually had three jobs, and um, this fragrance got me through a lot of work shifts. And it's, it just meant a lot to me. It was a fragrance that I bought with my own money. You know, I had saved up. And at the time, of course, it wasn't that expensive. So I grabbed a good deal on it. And <laughs> I really thought I was doing something. And the, the lever atomizer really made it seem a lot more special than what it really was. And it was just a solid fragrance. And it's a fragrance that I really don't hear being mentioned that often in the fragrance community uh, by Nino Cerruti. Uh, this is a good one at least in my opinion for something around the house and just for nostalgia you know it just has that um just has that sort of vibe to, you know for me uh being able to think about you know just those younger years and um you know working all those jobs and carrying this around with me and meeting the young ladies that i was meeting around that time frame uh price point excellent fragrance is excellent performance isn't the best but it's not meant to be taken that way it's just a chill fragrance that you don't have to take super serious and i think it's a good addition to anybody's collection <clears throat> i'll drop the link in the description where you can check it out for yourself i also have another truity uh fragrance in my collection i'll probably do a video on that one soon enough and that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will catch you guys soon peace